Teenager missing school to go to work, helping his family to pay their bills and buy food, now barred from walking at graduation. That's because he missed the same class 47 times. Tonight, in an Atlanta News First then exclusive we interview, this? we sit down with a student who claims he completed more than 70 hours of work outside of school to make up for this. Now a teacher is quitting her job to stand up for him. This is quite a story. Atlanta News First, Zach Summers is live in Bartow County tonight. And Zach, walking at graduation has very special meaning to this family. Yeah, absolutely. This graduation would have been a milestone for the student, but also his family, his former teacher putting her career on the line, saying that this decision is wrong and that administrators could have prevented it all from ever happening. And they are all the work to just graduate. I'm off the stage. As the son of immigrants, Asiel Martinez wanted nothing more than to make his parents proud at his high school graduation. Because it came to the U.S. to, for me, to have a better life. So I want to graduate. But the 19 year old Cass High senior found out he won't receive his diploma next week. This despite a determined effort to make up work he missed after racking up 47 absences in science class. When I went to this class, it was basically just sitting down and watching videos. I leave school to go to work to support my family. The administrators really should have stepped in a long time ago. Dr. Felicia Guffey teaches English as a second language at Cass High. She learned Martinez was failing science in March while administering an ESL proficiency test. She asked a teacher for the missed assignments and Martinez completed them. There was very few grades put in for the work because the assignments were different than the assignments that the students got in the regular class. Guffey kept advocating for Martinez who has an individualized education plan or IEP and requires special accommodations. She says they eventually agreed that if Martinez completed another list of assignments and summer coursework, he could walk during graduation. It was stressful. I wouldn't go to sleep till like two or three in the morning to finish that work. Martinez says he spent 70 hours outside of class to get all the work done days before the due date, but it still wasn't enough. What happened was we made a finish line that we thought was unobtainable for him, and when he put forth all the effort and obtained it, we moved it. On Tuesday, Guffey aired her grievances during a Board of Education meeting. She noted that there's no written policy on makeup work. She has since resigned from the district, a decision she said was necessary due to possible retaliation for speaking up. This is really going to impact his life. For me to sit back and not do anything about it, I just feel like that's wrong. The Bartow County School System sent us a statement saying it conducted a, a thorough and comprehensive investigation, conducting numerous interviews and carefully reviewing all assignment and grades. The district says the evidence substantiated their decision in this matter. Meanwhile, Martinez tells me he has to show up on the 30th to complete a 14 question test in order to get his diploma. 11 Cartersville, Zach Summers, Atlanta News First.